Hi, uh, my name is Eddie Pagan, and I'm the national director of the Latino series here at uh, New Filmmakers. Uh, we just made this year, early in the year, our 10th anniversary of doing a series here in collaboration with New Filmmakers at the Anthology Film Archives. And uh, I think, you know, it's kind of a, a, a unique milestone for a series of its kind. And it's one of the things that I'm proud of that I was able to do uh, showcase a lot of filmmakers' work in, in the community that I love. And when I tell him to leave me alone, make it so that he gets really angry and <coughs> tears all my clothes. Individuals, filmmakers that want to submit to new uh, Latino filmmakers submit through the general uh, umbrella organization, which is New Filmmakers. So they can go to newfilmmakers.com and there's a submission page. They can do it through Without a Box. There's a page for new filmmakers and Without a Box. And what happens at the end of the day, the films that come in that are labeled Latino or Latino-oriented then get filtered to me. And I review them with a, a handful of other people and we sort of pick, pick the ones that either are gonna come together as a theme or that stand alone individually. So we program throughout the year, four times, four sections of the year. Well, we're basically looking for films that have a strong story as, as the prime basis. And of course, you know, if there's anything interesting in terms of plot, um, we tend to go with films that are more uh, character driven, that sort of have something to say from a specific uh, point of view. And until now, we've been uh, rather successful with that sort of programming. Okay. This is no time for I told you so's. Kev. No, they're out to get me. Are you working Who? for them? They're out to get Who? me. Once you become big, bigger than life, they come for you. Actually, over the years, uh, we've done a mix of both films uh, that are either uh, directed or produced by Latinos, but we've also done stories that are themed, that the Latino theme, that, that discuss our histories, our idiosyncrasies, our social issues within the context of the film, but are not necessarily created or directed by Latinos. But the one thing we look at when we're doing that is that we want to make sure that the films, the subjects that they do deal with in, in, in the movie, uh, treat the subject with respect. You know, we're not going to put something up that's just sort of making fun of the subject. But if it's done with, with respect and it, and it touches upon our issues and our community uh, in the way that we see fit, then we'll, we'll showcase it. All right, Clanton, you call down the thunder. Now you got it. You see that? It says United States Marshal. Take a good look at him, Ike, because that's how you're going to end up. The cowboys are finished. I see a man wearing a sash. I kill the man wearing it. So run, you turd. Tell him I'm coming. And you tell him hell's coming with me. The Get law's me. coming with me. Get off me. Well, New, New Latino Filmmakers, which is uh, part of New Filmmakers, was originally, was originally started uh, through the National Association of Latino Independent Producers, the New York chapter. At the time I was running the New York chapter, I was the president of the organization, and we had done a pilot uh, at one point to try to see if we could do it here. And I remember distinctly that the first time we did it, uh, we probably had four or five people in the auditorium, and half of those were the people that were organizing the event. Um, the individuals that I did it with were very discouraged at the time, and I came back to Barney Oldfield and basically asked him uh, to let me give it one more shot, and he did, and you know, the, in the next event we had a, a, a rather packed house. So we knew that there was a need for this kind of programming. It's just that the first go around, we hadn't really put as much into it in terms of getting the word out as we could have. Uh, so from the second time on, it actually has become one of the series here at Anthology that gets uh, some of the most patronage, and it's still going 10 years later.